So what time is it when a YouTuber pulls out a knife? It's time to open some boxes. Welcome to Vino Farm Viewer Mail. So we've had some messages and people asking on the channel for an address to mail things to, and we went out and got a P.O. box in anticipation of a flood of mail. Um, it wasn't really a flood, but we have gotten a few things in the P.O. box, and it's very exciting. Uh, this actually arrived last year, and I set it aside because I wanted to open it on camera, and then I totally forgot about it, so I apologize. But I'm going to open this up today. And then yesterday, this thing arrived, and it is a substantial box, and I have no idea what's in it. So I wanted to open it on camera, so you can, you know, see with me. Uh, so if you feel like sending anything, that's the address. Uh, I'll accept anything through the mail and open it up on camera. But anyway, let's, let's get into it. Big one first. No, we're not going to do the big one first. All right, let's start with one. I know who this came from. This came from my buddy Brandon of Brandon's Bees. And Brandon is a, is a cool guy. He lost his hive last fall. Uh, I think they swarmed away on him. Uh, but he was able to harvest a little something from his hive and he said he was gonna send me this. So I'm gonna open this up right now. Oh. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Brandon. That's totally sweet. Uh, I don't know. Let's see what's in here. Oh, we got a little jar. Look at that. A little jar of honey. A little jar of honey. It's beautiful. Want to open it? Yeah. So, like I said, Brandon lost his bees, his hive last year. He's a flow hiver. And uh, he was able to get a little bit of a crop from his bees, so. It's good. Yummy. Good job, Brandon's bees. Thank you very much. Box number one. Let's get into the big one. Yay! This came from a YouTuber named Overly Creative, and he's a super cool commenter. He's very friendly, and he's been super sweet to me from early days uh, of the channel. And he, he's just, he's just a beekeeper. Uh, this came from California. I thought he was in a different state, but anyway, thank you so much. This, this was a huge surprise. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what this is, but wow, it's like the ingredients for, for bread. We have all the ingredients to make. Here are the fixings for a few loaves of squaw bread. I don't know what squaw bread is, so I'm going to find out. Got some rye flour, brown sugar, whole wheat flour, my favorite King Arthur, raisin, yeast, whole milk powder, and I think this is the uh, the special part, honey from his hives. Whoa. I'm gonna have to go and see what squaw bread is. You heard of squaw bread? No. I don't know what that is. Either. Beautiful. Wow. Gorgeous. Wow, so this is, it's very thoughtful. Thank you very much, it's very sweet and I will make some bread. Thank you. So you guys, thank you so much for the sweet messages and thank you very much for all the support and for commenting on my videos and for being around for so long. Um, both of you guys have been around for a long time. Brandon's Bees was one of the very first YouTube channels I subscribed to when I got my Flow Hive going. He was another Flow Hiver that started right at the same time I did. Uh, so he, I've known him since I really started the channel. 
Overly Creative also has been commenting for a very long time and has been totally supportive. So thank you very much, both you guys. All right, so that wraps up this episode of Vino Farm Viewer Mail, episode number one. If you uh, feel like sending anything in, you can send it via mail to this address. And anything we receive, we will open up right here at the table. And uh, we'll mention your name if you like us to and all that stuff. So thank you very much for your thoughtful gifts. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Cut. Perfect.